it's Brad here again at Select Roses. We're taking a break from uh, working with customers today and I wanted to do a little bit more pruning. And one thing I wanted to show you is how to prune a shrub rose. This is a bed that we're renovating. So the important thing is that we have one rose to show you that's left that's staying. And this is a rose that was hybridized by us. It is super tough. It is one of our very early creation called William P.J. McCarthy, named after a very good friend of mine and well-known local businessman. If you notice, everything else has basically died off in this bed or we've decided to dig it out. But William is still standing proud, looking like a great rose, but it needs a little bit of renovation. This is an own root rose. So if you look down here, you'll notice that the plant has sort of been spreading apart and that's okay. All of the shoots coming up on an own root rose are always going to be part of the same variety. So none of these are suckers. The great thing about a shrub rose like this, when you're renovating a bed, is that you can go ahead, even though it's leafed out, and prune it down hard. I'm going to do that. Prune this rose down hard and it will come up and bloom again as a really nice bush at about three and a half feet. This is one of our varieties that is also in New Zealand, selling well, looking amazing there. The pictures I've seen of the William McCarthy rose in New Zealand are absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to just tell you a few things I'm doing on the pruning. We'll go through and get the pruning done and then we will come back to it. So this here is the old wood. We know that we cut this out right down to the base of the plant like this. I'm going to go through the rest of this and normally on a shrub I might leave some of the branching, some of the small shoots, but because we're renovating the whole bed I'm going to prune this bush in half. Hello everybody, we're back here talking about our shrub rose William P.J. McCarthy. A couple other things I wanted to tell you about William P.J. McCarthy. He is a businessman who I met many years ago, he came into the nursery, I knew nothing about him. Uh, since then, he had became the uh, president of the Vancouver Rose Society, amongst many other things that he has done. Keeps his own bees. He also has a garden. Now, I think I have a nice garden here. His garden is a 100-acre garden out in Mission with, I think, the biggest collection of rose bushes anywhere in Canada. Probably the biggest collection of hyd hydrangeas I've ever seen, rhododendrons, maple trees. It is a fantastic garden, and he keeps that garden with himself and I believe one other helper. So truly an amazing gardener and we have a wonderful shrub rose name for our good friend. You'll see that I've left just a few of the strongest shoots left but because it's a wide shrub it's okay to have that spreading there but I see a few canes I'll still remove just to clean up the middle of the bush. I'm going to take these out like this and we'll take our last shoot out like that. You'll notice that there's a few weeds, other things that need to be cleaned up. I have my nice little garden angels that come and help me do this kind of stuff so I get to leave a little bit of the mess. One important thing I want to tell you about, when you are replacing an old bed like this, so these roses have been in here for over 10 years, it is critically important to replace the soil. The best thing to do is to come along with your wheelbarrows. My dad loves using his John Deere equipment, so I'm going to have him use the little bucket on it and dig some of this soil out to a depth of about 16 inches. We will put the soil out in the pasture. It'll be reused and we're going to take some of our pasture soil and replace the soil in here. That way the new rose bushes will take off just fine. The one old bush we're going to leave too. We still have one bush left of the Pope, John Paul II rose, and it's survived in this bed and it's been doing okay. The rest of the bushes, they've done their life expectancy. We want to change to something else. So William and the Pope stay. The bed will be renovated. We dig everything out, put fresh new soil in. So we look forward to seeing you soon again.